Max, what are we doing? I'm running away from this giant fat thing. Oh my, oh. that thing's huge. Oh wow, it's so big. I love how, how the, the teacher is still on the stamp. That's gorgeous. I love the map. Oh wow. So how do you defeat this thing? I, I blow up these circuits. And that uh, will do... That stops him from healing. Oh, he's he okay, Wolverine. So like when he eat so when he beats up other <laughs> sensors, he heals. So now so now I can actually fight him. Okay. Just like my Whoa. Oh, that's disgusting. Why does he have like a, a tumor on his stomach? Oh, this thing's disgusting. Oof. Me off and put me down. Oh, oh. Wow. he's just so big. That is a giant dude. Now destroy him. Wait, Whoa. was that supposed to happen? No. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to get hit? Yeah. No. Okay, that's just like a. But in case you do get hit, they have a plan. That's kind of cool. So you got off it. Why can't that guy? He isn't he supposed to be like stronger than you, like yeah. you know, an experienced uh, psycho? But it's his, not. But it's, uh, well, yeah, but he. This is also his brain. Maybe it's a test. Oh wow, these balls are everywhere. Yeah, this guy is really flinging it out. What are they? They look like poop, but they have the sensors in them. <laughs> is this a, uh, a uh, what's it called? Statement of society. Oh my god. This thing is giant, just... Oh, he's, he's ripping off pieces of his f flesh? Oh, God. Yeah, like that, that hole in his side. That's where he's grabbing it from. Oh, my God, That's you're disgusting. Right. I never noticed that. That's so gross. That's just disgusting. This is... Oh, the... I'm glad you're dead. No, you needed to die. No, here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've already seen I guess this. it's not a test. The loading time really is better now that I put it on a solid state. Oh yeah, okay, by far. Okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Step up to the brick. Okay, so I've got 657. So what I could do is I could go back out to the water. Uh, let's go to the main lodge. Um, I'm going to go pick up some more stuff because I'm so close to being able to purchase the... Another another special item? Yeah, the, the special item that you need. Um, here's the reason. Uh, they did one Lego Star Wars thing. Uh, the cobwebs. You need a cobweb collector. So they want you to go... They want you to backtrack. Oh, yeah, like the red brick thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if they... I think it's 800. Oh, that's my last... Oh, it is, it, it is 800. All oh, right. Okay. Just double How much it. do you have? Uh, 657. That's not bad. Yep. I'm Almost go, there. I'm going to go down to the water and get it. Uh, sure. Let's do this. So, with. So, one of the things that. Uh, and, like. What's your favorite Lego game that you've played? Uh, the very first Lego Star Wars. And. Ooh, good you one. And I, you and I have talked about this at length um, uh, off camera. But on camera. What I really like about Lego Star Wars was not the levels. Although, or the fact that to no be honest, one... they weren't bad. In fact, my favorite one was the intro to episode three, where you're flying through the Battle of a Coruscant. Really? I didn't like those rails. I, I loved them, but just because of the spectacle around it. There was so much going on there. That's a good point. What I liked about um, the... Well, uh, ooh. Ooh, I like how he just kind of chucks it. What uh, what I really liked about um, about Lego Star Wars A A of all uh, Count Dooku was because he was a master at oh where am I going oh new area oh what a uh, fascinating place how do, okay that's how you get out entering boathouse to the beach okay that weird. that was weird ah uh, okay. whatever so uh. 
Lego Dooku. Count Lego Dooku um, would strike. His second strike was faster than anyone else's. So <laughs> um, every other lightsaber, uh, every every other person with a lightsaber, um, when you keep up, they can't keep up. So you always you could always injure them. Yeah. Cthulhu. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come here, little boy. Me too. Huh? No. Well, yes. Oh, I just, this is so funny. You know, my family has this problem with water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Wait, what? That's that's their explanation as to why you can't swim. <laughs> they made it a mechanic. That's that, clever. They made it a narrative in the game. That's clever. What? No! I'm here to train. No distractions. Excellent! Bye! Ooh, Wait, drama. what's that supposed to mean, sailor kid? <laughs> so yeah, uh, Count Dooku's second strike was faster. Yep, and so nice. every other every other lightsaber person... Just couldn't keep up. Uh, uh, ...is the exact same speed. Yeah. And so you'll see them, uh, and they're like gang fights outside. In the cantina. Uh, yeah, that's like, so awesome. And my my personal favorite thing about it is just chaos. And uh, see, well, I'm almost there already. That, uh, that's why I wasn't worried about it. Great investment. Oh, oh, calm down. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's one of my favorite things about it was the the difference in the character speeds. So, oh, Jango God, Fett yeah. ran stupid fast, and on Jetpack he ran a little slower, but still faster. Than the majority of other guys. Do you know which character was the fastest? Who? The Geonosian. Oh my god, you're right. When that guy flew, he just took off. It was ridiculous. Just the fastest character by far. You could get around the entire outside of the uh, of the bar in like 10 seconds flat. He was ludicrous. I also loved how they gave Yoda his little hover chair that you saw one time in episode two. I'm so he needed it. Oh yeah, he needed it because of the way how. And they never brought they it back. Him. They never brought it back any of the two other Lego games. Three, if you count the Clone Wars. Uh, I don't think they ever brought it back. The Clone Wars. There was a Lego Clone Wars. There was a separate Lego Clone Wars. Game? Yeah, and it was it would it was different Legos. They looked more. Cartoony, not Lego. -y. Oh, do you think that they were based on the like animated show? Yeah, yeah, they were. It's based on like the first season, I think. The one, the one like big gimmick that one did was large scale battles, like giant battles with easily like maybe fifty entities on screen, and like squadrons and vehicles. It was, in all intents and purposes, for the Lego game. A giant war. It was cool in theory, but when I played it at a friend's house a long time ago, it just didn't hold up. What did you get the cobweb thing? No, I have to be level 20, and I'm only level 15. Uh, I did not realize that. Well. But I did buy, I essentially bought two more levels for 20 bucks, mm. uh, so that's fine. The, uh, the new LEGO Marvel games haven't been bad. I, I've enjoyed them, except for Batman 3, but that's... Yeah. Well, that, that's DC. No, I didn't mean to go to the parking oh, lot. Oh, too bad. I didn't Oops. Want, I didn't want to go to the parking lot, though. The, one, the only Lego game that's voice acted that sounds weird is uh, the Lego Avengers game, the one that's based off of, like, the movies. Gameplay-wise, oh. it's really fun. Uh, the sound, the, the voice acting of it is audio taken directly from the movies. Oh, that's weird. So it sounds off, like a lot. It sounds like the conversations aren't really full, because they're not. That's so weird. So it's Robert Downey Jr.'s voice, but only bits and pieces of it, because none of them came in to do it, because why would they? Yeah. It. <laughs> that's the weirdest one. 
of the ones that I play. Okay, so what I need to do... Um, <laughs> He's bouncing in a little chair. I do, I, I do really, really, really need to go... What uh, what I need to do is I need to progress through the story through the story up until I can get the 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 super bounce and the run around thing because because ah. then, then you could collect everything it's well, super let's, easy let's start then let's get into that okay. time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons that's the spirit <laughs> see like and they're just like oh yeah that's weird we're just gonna keep it yep okay I I dig it so this is this is Sasha yep. This is Agent Nine. Nine. Uh, so um, I know you don't watch it, uh, cause it's <laughs> someone described it really well. They were like, "Hey, you don't. No one watches four hours of something that they hate." Um, what it, What is it? It's the Critical Role. Uh, oh yeah. Thing. Um, they're new. First of all, one of the characters is German. Oh, beautiful. So they made up a world, uh, a part of the world, and they it was essentially German land. <laughs> uh, and the it was the absent uh, like apparently he wasn't German enough, and so like oh, through like no. the first like four episodes, he went from being like a realistic German accent to being ah yeah yeah. <laughs> it's just really just starting to all fall apart. Uh, but um, they are called the Mighty Nine, <laughs> even though there's seven. I I love it. Beautiful. Man, you and I got started D and D session sometime. Um, I've actually started um uh well this is on camera. So uh so actually um I I have a module. Um, yes. Yeah, it's gonna be a one shot. Um but uh Michael has been saying our friend Michael has been saying that he has some guys that we're gonna people. Um gotta be Hopefully. As not. opposed to, oh, what, cats? Hopefully not just a bunch of dudes. Uh, I hope that there's at least a girl, because at least it will be interesting. Um, Got to include everyone. Uh, or at least they get to play female characters. Like, I think that would be really fun. That actually um, would be really neat. Because it's something that you don't think about. Um, yeah, and I, and I know, I know there will be guys that play female girl and be creepy about it. Because just humans are humans. I mean, that's what I mean. That's what the game is for 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 testing out what it would feel like. And yeah. So my response to that, as a as a dungeon master, like as the person like running the game, would be to uh to like make it make encourage it. it to be more than just like I'm gonna be a girl for the lulls. Yeah. My my thing would be to make him sexually uncomfortable, mm. like just. And see how he handles it, and so maybe later on when he's near real, when he's near real girls, you know, like might help him seven, out. <laughs> seven or eight years down the road, he <laughs> might he might be like, oh, maybe maybe I don't need to be a creeper. Um, maybe women are people too. Uh, apparently, people still need to hear that lesson. Uh, yeah, I'd, you'd be surprised how much. Oh my God, the, uh, there's a. Uh, it surprises me sometimes. Have you ever seen the original Rescuers? Not the Rescuers Down Under, but the original no. Rescuers. No. Okay, so that's it's like early '60s. Sure. Uh, and it opens with a woman saying, "Hey, I want to, uh, I want to take this, this super secret special secret agent job." Uh, and and they're like, oh, it's not like it used to be. With uh, it used to be a man's world. Oh. I, like they literally immediately. Say that. And and everyone is like, oh, she can't do it. She's a woman. She'll get hurt. There's a bit in Wonder Woman like that, and I was afraid it was gonna be like very uh, girl power, woman like heavy and such. Like just over what over what is comfortable in a movie sense. Luckily, they did it really really well. Uh, you, do you notice the the main difference uh, in costume between when a woman ran the uh, 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 a woman director directed Wonder Woman, but uh, it's been a guy every time that they've done either of the uh, oh, the, the Justice League the, ones. The two other ones that she's been in. Yeah, she's been in a bikini for both of those. No. I don't. Mm, I don't think so. 
No, I don't think I don't think that's right. Because I remember in BVS, I liked her costume a lot. Like I thought it, was, it looked like actual armor. I don't think they changed it. I think I think you're wrong. Okay. We'll have to look it up. We will. I don't think they changed her costume in it. That is one thing I do like a lot in is Wonder Woman's costume. Because, it, yeah, no, you're. I think you're wrong. Because I remember distinctively talking about it, that I think her costume looks like practical armor. Mm. It's not a bikini. It's not like a tight corset thing. It looks practical. Metal where it should be protecting where she should be protected. It looks a lot more practical than previous renditions of it. Especially comic books. Especially comic books. Dear God. You know, I I love armor, and I recently saw a compilation a while ago. <laughs> I said recently and a while ago. In between a long time ago and now. <laughs> <laughs> Which could be any time, really. Which could be any time. I saw a compilation of pictures of practical female armor. My God, it was gorgeous. There's actually a subreddit for that. I think yeah. it's just called Women in Armor. And they're great. They look practical. Just, ah, oh, it's beautiful. I love practical armor. All right, and with that, we're going to call this one an episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, you're, you've are you been a wonderful soup pal, uh, and uh, we've got some food for thought for you. We, d we do? Yes, yes, we do. Well, I don't know. My heart's beating really fast, like it's going to eventually beat itself to death when the time comes. Oh, shit.